In this session, we'll learn how to configure user-defined text headers on the Avair map page. You must first load and activate a procedure in order for these fields to be populated with values. The text header is designed to be user configurable with a feature rich set of user selectable options. We'll be setting up the text header in a simple to view order that we feel will make it easier for fractional second glances to find the desired support information for the arrival. We recommend showing the most important features in the upper left hand corner of the text header section working from left to right and in logical groupings. We'll demonstrate how to set up what we feel are the most important text header fields for the arrival starting in the upper left hand corner. As you will see, the text header has an upper half and lower half to insert these options. The option fields are adjacent to each other and are closely spaced together for ease of configuring. First, from the map page, we must clear the text header options currently in the text header fields. To clear an option field, simply double click on the option, scroll to the top of the option list, then select None, then click OK. We'll now clear all of the fields in the same manner. Now that we have a clean text header section, we'll select six options from the options list starting by first, double tapping in the upper left hand corner of the map and scroll to select the destination identifier, which is the next waypoint in our procedure. Then click OK. Second, double tap the next adjacent field to the right. Scroll and select Estimated Time en Route. Then click OK. Third, double tap the next adjacent field to the right. Scroll and select Bearing. Then click OK. Fourth, double tap the first left hand field located immediately below the destination identifier field. Scroll and select ground speed. Then click OK. Fifth, double tap the next adjacent field to the right. Scroll and select distance to destination. Then click OK. Sixth, double tap the next adjacent field to the right. Scroll and select Track. Then click OK. Now that we've partially populated the header with only six fields, let's identify how they'll be used in the approach. The destination identifier shows the next waypoint in our procedure starting with the VIAF waypoint. Note, to enable automatic waypoint sequencing to the next waypoint, you must pass within a 0.8 nautical mile corridor, a plus or minus 0.4 nautical miles from the center of the geo-referenced course line. The closer you are to the center line, the more accurate the time to turn flash indicator will be. We'll be discussing changing waypoint sequencing for touch and goes, missed waypoints, and go arounds 
in another video. The ground speed field indicates the current ground speed. Remember, the procedures are based on a 90 knot ground speed from the V3AF waypoint to the midfield entry waypoint for a 2 minute, 500 feet per minute descent. The ETE is the time to the next waypoint, estimated time en route. This can be used to keep you ahead of the airplane by knowing what is expected next and how soon. Knowing that the time to turn flash indicator starts 23 seconds prior to the next waypoint, the ETE can be used to anticipate that this alert is approaching so that we'll keep the screen in our peripheral vision until the flash occurs. Distance to next can be used to announce our position and distance when making position reports. Bearing is degrees directly to the next waypoint from your current position. All measurements are based on true north. Track is the current direction in degrees the aircraft is traveling over the ground and is also based on true north. This is the equivalent of a heading indicator if none available. These two readings along with the dashed bearing and track lines emanating from the aircraft icon aid in maneuvering to the procedure waypoints. There are additional fields in the text header that can be configured in a variety of ways to suit your personal preference. Populating the text header must be done in both the landscape and portrait modes so that if you rotate your Android device the header will remain the same. Complete the process in one mode before proceeding to the next mode. That completes the header text configuration. Again, we recommend starting with these six fields until proficient at fractional second glances for safe VFR operations.